we could come to a situation where we're not able to reproduce as a species. Yeah, I mean, you look at the, the young lads that carry the cell phone in the front pocket. Well, that cell phone is firing off a signal to the cell tower when it's on standby, and that's about every 13 to 15 seconds. I've measured this with with my meters. It's a significant signal. It's not it's not a weak signal that, that is not damaging. It's actually at levels that are significantly above the levels of safety. The proximity to the testicles where the sperm are produced and are stored is pretty darn close. I think you're absolutely right. I think we are looking at a whole generation who are unable to produce largely because of this. The whole fertility industry, it's a massive industry now because people are having problems. The really astute fertility dog doctors are telling their male and female patients to stop using cell phones for at least six months prior to trying to conceive a child. Ah, oh, wonderful. That's yes. great news. So the ones who are watching what's going on. All right. Tell me, why is it that people don't want to know? What's the resistance all about? What I run into is a form of denial. It's uh, partially partially naivety and partially denial that this could possibly be damaging. How could sitting in my living room with my tablet right here, reading a book, be damaging to me? How is it possible? It's like, it's like their conceptual framework can't get the possibility that that's damaging. How could it possibly be that talking on a cell phone for five minutes could damage my health? It's out of the realm of possibility. And here's part of the reason, okay? Have you ever watched Star Trek? Sure, sure. It was great. Okay. So on Star Trek, they had the little communicators initially with Captain Kirk. You remember that? Yep. And it was basically a cell phone long before we had cell phones. And then they moved up to the little thing on the chest. And you just hit it. So, so here we are. We've got a whole, not just one generation, but two or three generations of people that watched all of this stuff on television, in the movies, and saw it there and went, wouldn't that be cool? And now, all of a sudden, we've got Star Trek technology entering our reality. And of course, we're going to go, oh, of course. I saw it on Star Trek 20 years ago. Now we've got it. This is great. There's no way it can hurt me. It didn't hurt them. They're all still alive. You know what I mean? I mean, this is sort of the way I think the mind is working, that how could it possibly be damaging? It, we saw it on TV.